All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Mountain Blade War, man. And I've got a special treat for you today, guys. So we're going to start a new series with the series that we're doing, the walkthrough. But we're going to break off this. This will be uploaded every other episode. So we can just kind of follow both of them, guys. But I've chosen Arwa, the pearled one, and we're going to follow her story into this. So basically, we're going to agree to sign on to support her for the throne, for the Serenade throne. And we're going to try to overthrow Sultan Hakim and his faction. It's going to be a very long quest with many episodes, but you'll be able to visually see how you can progress through this quest. And I'm going to help you through it as we go, guys. So it ought to be kind of exciting to start a rebellion faction and kind of push for forward and see what we can uh, how we can turn it out so with all that being said guys let's just open up dialogue with her haven't you heard of my exploits ma'am she is arwa the pearled one yada yada we know the rightful queen to the serenades we've been through this before with the tips and tricks videos guys if you haven't watched that one, it was a couple episodes ago, I uploaded a tips video on the six who claim to be rightful kings of the Calradian realm. Um, and this is the one of the ones that I picked out of there to choose to do first, guys. So we're going to follow her story. So let's carry on. I thought you were Sar so, or thought uh, Hakim was the Serenid king. She's going to explain further why she is rightfully um king of the throne so i'm just going to leave it here guys because I, there's a lot of paragraphs to read and so we're just going to skim through it due to sake of time so i'm just going to hold it here let you guys pause it and read once again i'll try to keep this at a, at a slow pace so you have time to pause and then read and then once again so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take up arms and cause to reclaim her throne basically Pause. Read. All right, and we're ready for the struggle. We're going to pledge ourselves, or she's going to pledge us in to her faction. Go ahead there. There we go. Okay. And now, and now we are a sworn man of her and vessel of her uh, faction guys which means a really cool thing we get to put her in our company of men and we have officially started war with the serenades now in doing so so we're going to back out of all that guys she's going to leave the castle with us i've already checked the tavern for a named we only have behester right now believe it or not guys he was the first one i found in the in the playthrough this particular one which is the same file as we've been working on guys it's just an earlier stage before we joined any faction basically guys so now we have Arwa and we're gonna move her to the top of the list I would have to say she's quite impressive in battle guys because what's gonna happen now is we're gonna have to go out and the land of Calradia and preach the good word. So basically, we're gonna have to go lord by lord and tell them that she is the real king of Serenid faction. So basically, we want to work over in the Serenid section, guys. So what we're gonna do is just start heading over that way as I kind of fill you in with some information. Let's see. We'll head. We want to head. I've been. Uh, what we're what our plan's gonna be is Sheree's ultimately, guys. We're gonna try to siege something in that area some castle something another so we only have 71 men we are very early in the stage i would highly recommend that you don't attempt this yet i would at least wait until you get a hundred men under your command and a decent amount of elite soldiers under your command before you attempt one of these hero quests guys so we can even talk to this Rodok Lord and and we can see what the dialogue plays out as so at your service I am sir he introduces himself as Rachinson 
Okay, your fame runs before you. Excellent. We would like to speak to you about something in private. Forgive me, but I am not a plotter, okay? So he has no interest in listening. The Serenid Lords will be a little more obliged, guys, to listening, and it opens up a special dialogue. So we're just going to travel over this way. Just so I can get closer to this end of the map, we can expand it, and I can, I can kind of explain a few more things, guys, before we zoom to a bit of the future. And like I said, I'll explain all that in just a second once we get closer to Serenade Country here. Let's just, let's just kind of scoot along a little bit. We are at war with them officially, but it looks, well, I just made peace with the Rodox. We're just going to dip right in here real quick to Wayne Castle. Weya Castle, I guess. In, in my head, I kind of come up with my own name. Sometimes I get close, sometimes I get it right, sometimes I'm just off completely. Guys, let's see who's home at Wayan. Nobody, and they have 177, so this is... Our game plan, guys, is we're going to scope a couple of these castles on this side of Serenade Country. We're going to see if any of, them, any of them's somewhat doable to try to siege, because now we have our own faction, guys. We have our own faction. So if we go over here to factions, we have Serenade Rebels now. This is who we are, and we're going to be going to war, to war primarily with the Serenade Sultanates, Going to war with their lords, trying to turn them over to our side. Unfortunately, none of them are probably going to agree to join our side until we have some type of homage for them to retreat to. So, with that being said, guys, I've already scoped something out. It is way in castle indeed. I'm going to load the file that I saved right before I started this video. And I've been working on this whole rebellion thing. Not much. Only a couple of days have passed, but we chased around a few lords. We fought a few lords. Sultan Hakim is in Cherise right now with very low numbers. I think he had like six men, so somebody's been going to war with them. This is a very vulnerable state for the Serenids right now, and we're going to try to take advantage of that by trying to siege this castle if their lords and the king lets us get away with it, because we could probably definitely handle the 177 with the amount of men we have in the other file. So with that being said, guys, bear with me just one second. We're going to exit out of here. And the file that I was working on, so it's been eight more days, actually, guys, since this beginning of the video. We're going to load that in. We have a cap of 72 men. And we have, we've built up a little bit of a, a little bit of a cavalry, a little bit of an archery system. And everything guys so he's over here hiding we whooped on a few of his lords that were in the 50s and 60s really nobody's really high right now because one we're only 69 in-game days into the game just said that twice but regardless guys <clears throat> we're gonna give this an attempt if we can pull this off we will successfully well thank God slatters we will successfully have our first capital for our rebellion force, and then we'll be able to progress from there with the story. So that's why I love ladders, they're so quick. So we're immediately gonna get the archers on fire at will, and also I want them to follow me because I want the rest of the men to charge up the ladders, but I want these archers on these walls. I did <coughs> skim over how many men or what kind of men they had in here guys they do have a significant amount of archers but they're low tier so we're just gonna plop our archers right here outside the wall and we're gonna come up here and we're gonna wait for the ramp to be available maybe even yeah see I already have people eyeballing me or I was gonna try to pick a few off with a crossbow but we're just gonna let our archers do a job here look at all these guys I have been building up a little bit with no real intentions to siege this castle at this point 
We are super premature, and like I said, for the second time now, please don't attempt this unless you have 100 men, guys, if you really know what you're doing, because it can get pretty hairy, especially after taken over the castle successfully. Oh, that just barely went over his head. You're still going to have to defend it, so there's that. We may lose this immediately after, who knows? <laughs> but we're going to try not to uh, allow that to happen, so we can get the ball rolling on this whole Arwa the Pope one quest. Alright, Florida Archer's over here. Let's try to eliminate the big sample, so they can stop shooting the men down. There we go, right in your dome, bud, that was. I think I actually took that guy out. Excellent. We're shooting pretty straight here. That's good. Well, I do. I think we're, we're actually almost getting ready to breach their walls. Dynamic sword, yes, I do. I'm going to go ahead and get archers to uh, start charging. Get in here and help us out. We seem to be just burning through them, though. So that's good. That is real good. They do have a lot of problems. I, I almost put it right off and try to take the seat. They have a bunch of them here. Shoot our men down. Let's try to take care of them. Hello. Meet Ty, sir. Thank you. So we're at very low level right now. Like, like I said, we're only 70, 69 days in. And we're only at level 8. Very premature to try to, to, try to accomplish this. You're just uh, kind of freeze frame, bud, in uh, look mode, eh? We're gonna have to, gonna have to kill you now, okay? 144 on my weapon proficiency in one hand already. Jeez, I didn't realize it was that high already. We have been fighting asses off sea raiders and everything else up until this point. Now we just have um, faction guys with our weather probe one. That's that's pretty awesome. She is level 38, by the way. Has health of 67. Her other stats are very impressive. Pop the ball that. Let's see if we can accomplish killing these things by ourselves. So I don't have my bastard sword and none of that, like in the future file uh, or the future part of this game, guys. So it might get a little confusing. It might, especially for me being the uploader. Um, but just following along with. You guys too it might get a little confusing we're gonna hop between episodes here between having our own faction and, and going playing the game kind of straight like and then breaking off and having these videos where we're doing these these side quests so we're just gonna keep uh draining this crossbow as long as they're not shooting at me and help our men out on the front line here i kind of want to check the scoreboard but i think we're doing pretty good just going to continue to plug away. Get some crossbow proficiency. I want to say hit that guy in the head, but probably not. Move just in time to the side, maybe. Ooh, you need to go, though. We could try to get our archers to... We could try to place them somewhere else. It might be a little more beneficial to just cram up with everybody else here. Let's go ahead and drain all these cross bolts so we can have a little quick. Maybe we'll get down there and we'll try to help them with our blade. No. What angle we might take here. Okay, last one. Switch to the sword. They still have reinforcements coming. What's the score? We've taken out 170 men. We're taking some hits, 14 dead, 11 wounded. They have 50 something left, possibly. I think they had. That should be it. Alright, so I, I don't want to run down that side. I don't want to. I'm going to get trapped with all of their <coughs> men spawning back in, and we're going to get screwed. So, I don't know. I don't know if we want down here. It's going to be dangerous. We still gotta consider that we might have to battle the inner. Let's see if I can find some bolts real quick, actually. Let's find some bolts. I can reload my crossbow a little bit. Doesn't doesn't seem like it's gonna happen though. 
not in a timely fashion. So we'll just get back on the line. They are all bunched up, guys. Do we need to be reinforced? No, we're not really. We still have 42 men on the field. It's pretty awesome. We are taking some losses here. I see it now. Don't know. I don't know if I should. I should totally hop down in there. Kind of, kind of wave it down. Oh gosh. Quick decision. Quick decision made. We're doing it. We're coming from the. This is a bad spot if they get reinforced. Screwed, okay, we made it down here. Good. That was the push that they needed. Excellent. Now let's see if we have to do the inner sanctum thing. Or if we get to actually claim this right now. 220. Oh, goodness gracious. We destroyed the shit out of. Oh my god, guys. The battle's over. We, we, take, we took. I can't believe we. I can't believe we even just took this. We took significant losses. She's hurt. He's hurt. Like, significant losses. But, uh, oh, I uh, don't mind if I... Uh, 37 and... Uh, mine is just slightly better, but we could give it to Behester. Uh, I think she's rocking pretty damn good gear. So we shouldn't have to worry about her for a little while. I can't believe this just happened, guys. I really can't. So... If this was our second castle, I would totally give it to her, and then she would officially have her own castle for her own faction. But for the time being, until we can get this thing beefed up, guys, we are going to ask for this castle. She's going to give it to us. Excellence. And we'll be able to start putting men in this, recruiting. Now, it's not to say that the Serenids are not going to retaliate immediately on us, guys, and try to take this castle back. I have a game plan if that is the case. I'll wait for them to take it back, especially if they outnumber us greatly. And then in hopes, when they do that, we'll be able to resiege it and just take it back. So we might have to play a little uh, game like that with them. Hopefully, We'll have as much luck as we have in the main playthrough, and they'll just bugger off and leave us alone. Their numbers are quite depleted, so we'll see how it plays out. But, look at our situation here, guys, in this quest with Arla, Arwa, the Pearled One. We have, officially, our own faction, the Rebellion Serenids. We have our own castle now, our own fife now. We're only 69 days into the game. It is super premature. Like I said, I recommend you don't start this until you have, until you're confident in your skills, guys. I have enough men to support it because it is going to be a very sticky situation for me, even being an experienced player, to reinforce this thing before the Serenids try to want to take it or any other faction for that matter. But, we're going to leave this one off here, guys, and we will be back to resume with it soon. It was the third video for today. Just wanted to be an extra treat for you guys, so I hope you definitely enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Feel free to leave comments and questions. If you have plenty of questions, I have plenty of answers. Fire right away. And as always, until next time, we'll see you later.